Welcome to the Distance Learning Kitchen where we put a little heart into everything we make. We are celebrating our snow day that we're going to have tomorrow by making another soup. This is chicken tortilla soup in the Instant Pot. And so follow along and I'll show you how quick and easy this is to make. Let's move the camera over here. And let me tell you what I have so far. Right now, it's just said to take five cups chicken stock and put that in your Instant Pot. And I just wanna let you know, you could make your own vegetable stock and use that. Um, you can also buy chicken stock in a can or in a carton. You can also buy this product, and this is one of my go-tos, um, better than bouillon. And you just add this into a measuring cup and add hot water, whisk it together, and this also gives you um, some chicken stock. All right, so I wanna go ahead and finish putting my chicken stock into the pot. And then the next thing that I need to do, it said to put my um, onions in and put my tomatoes. Before I open this can, I just wanted to, um, I left the lid on because I want you to know that before you ever open a can, you wanna wash it with a hot soapy dishcloth and rinse it off before you open it. Because just think when this is in the grocery store on a shelf, you never know what has been going across those cans. And so that just keeps things um, clean when they go in here. All right, so our can of uh, our diced tomatoes goes in. And then I need to add four cloves of garlic. Now, um, my garlic that I have, my fresh garlic, I need to keep some of it for a recipe that I'm making tomorrow. But I have this in my fridge. It's minced garlic. It's another quick, easy go-to. You have to think about this. Um, sometimes we need convenience because of our work schedules and school schedules. And so um, if you don't have time to peel and mince your garlic, this is great. You can just pick this up. And it's a half of a teaspoon equals a clove of garlic. So I just put in two teaspoons of garlic and that gives me my four cloves. And then I need to add chili powder, cumin, and paprika. And I'm putting that in. And then what I wanna do is I just wanna give that a little bit of a stir before I go further, just because I wanna get those spices a little bit mixed up. But this is what's so nice with the Instant Pot, like it just says, to just stick this in in a certain order and then go with it. All right, um, after I do that, then the only thing I need to do is add my black beans and my corn, and then the lime juice is done afterwards. And I need to put my chicken in here and my chicken is frozen and that's all right. It's boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And so it can be um, thawed or it can be frozen. The Instant Pot works great for that. Let me go ahead and open this before I bring it over. And I just wanna take this and place it inside of here. And when we get done with this, it's gonna be perfect. Um, it doesn't matter whether it is frozen or um, thawed out. And then my um, black beans, I needed to rinse. See, I'm working around my camera guy here. So let me come on this side. So I put them in a colander or strainer and I rinsed them and then drained them. And so I'll add those. And then I need to add two cups of frozen corn. I'm just gonna eyeball it. All right. Woo, we got plenty of corn in there. But it's chicken tortilla soup and we want that. All right, let's just take a quick look at our recipe, go back through it, make sure we have everything. We've got our five cups of chicken stock or our broth. We have our diced tomatoes, our onion, our garlic, chili powder, cumin, paprika. It calls for coriander, but I just don't have any of that, so I'm not putting it in. Ah, salt and pepper, we need to have that. Now, um, if your chicken broth is store-bought and it is not low sodium, you may not wanna add salt right now. You might wanna wait until after you're done cooking. Now, with this being a chicken tortilla soup, you can add white pepper instead of black pepper, especially if you have people in your house who maybe aren't pepper fans. 
This is a milder, milder flavor pepper than our black pepper. All right, so we've got that. We've got our skinless, boneless chicken breast in here. We've got our black beans and our corn, and we are ready to put this into the Instant Pot. So let's go on over. Here we go. I'm gonna put this in. All right, I just put this into the Instant Pot, and we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on it. I want you to make sure that you have this in place and that your rubber gasket is in nice and tight. And put this on, turn it. I'm gonna go ahead and go to pressure cook. And I'm going to increase my time to seven minutes and press the start button. And what this will do, it'll come to pressure. When it hits the pressure, right over here, this little metal piece will pop up. And the number seven, because we set this for seven minutes, will show on the screen and it will count down to one minute and then to zero. And then it will beep and it will let me know that it is done. And then I'm gonna wait 10 to 15 minutes before I release the pressure and that will just help the chicken to finish cooking. And then we'll come back when this is ready. We'll shred the chicken and we'll finish up our chicken tortilla soup. All right, our pressure cooker or Instant Pot just came to pressure. You can see now where the time has gone to seven minutes. And if you take a look right over here at the lid, you can see that metal, silvery metal part that has popped up. And that's just reassurance that, yes, our pot is at pressure and it is now cooking. All right, you just missed the beeping, but the Instant Pot counted down from seven minutes to zero. What I'm going to let it do now is it's done cooking. I'm gonna let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes so the clock will count up. And then I will show you releasing the pressure, taking the chicken out, shredding it, and what our chicken tortilla soup will look like. It's time to relieve the pressure on the pressure cooker. We want this uh, metal piece to go down. And so all we have to do is push this down and I've had that sitting for a while. And so it already has released all of the pressure just by doing this. And that little piece went down and we're ready to open up our lid and get our chicken out, shred it, and add it back to our pot and add a little bit of lime juice and serve it in a bowl with some tortilla chips, maybe some sour cream, a little avocado, whatever you have to put on your tortilla soup. Maybe even a little shredded cheddar. Enjoy guys. And again, remember, put a little heart into everything you make and you will just be blessing other people with what you've taken the time to make for them.